everyone, Justin DeLay from Reverb.com here, and today we're going to take a closer look at plugins. Real quick, what is a plugin? Well, uh, if we are in the software world and we're inside of a DAW or a digital audio workstation like Ableton, for instance, uh, a plugin is another little piece of software that plugs in to uh, your main recording software, uh, again, like Ableton, or uh, if you're a Pro Tools user, uh, or a Logic user, uh, or any of the other uh, range of DAWs that exist, plugins offer the ability to uh, add new instruments, uh, add new effects, add new utilities, and really just open up a whole wide range of new capabilities inside of the software that you already use. Super, super fun, if you're a guitarist, uh, the, the analogy of they're sort of like pedals in that they're usually uh, pretty, pretty lightweight in their functionality, pretty um, singular in their focus, uh, and you kind of can, can, can create chains of them uh, to, to build something like a pedal board, if that's, a, if that's something you're familiar with. Uh, so there are two kinds of plugins uh, for Ableton, and, and really this is true for, for most AWs. Uh, there are those that are built into the software, uh, and then there are those that come from third parties uh, that can be purchased or downloaded for free uh, from various sources on the internet. And you're gonna see that there are two kinds of plugins. One is called an audio unit, which is a uh, Apple Mac format. Uh, and the other is called a VST, which is a universal format that, that is supported by both Windows and Mac. Let's take a quick look first at the plugins that are built into Ableton. So Ableton comes with an awesome collection of, of plugins. Here, just to get started, I've already pulled up a Fender Rhodes electric piano style uh, sound that, that, as you can see here at the bottom, is a plug-in, and it sounds like this. Right, pretty sweet, pretty awesome. First things first, we're gonna go up here and we're just gonna search for a sound. If you know me, you know that I love the Roland Juno synth sound, so we're gonna search for that in the sidebar here in Ableton, and we see that we've got built into Ableton, this comes with the software, uh, a sound called the Juno Pad. So we're just gonna grab a hold of that, drag it over to here, and like magic, that sound has now been added to the project that we're working on, and I can play that, and it which should sound like this. Right, so pretty cool. With one click of the mouse, we get a totally new sound, and this is built into Ableton. But what if we wanna add some new stuff, right, beyond what comes with Ableton? So here we are at uh, the Reverb uh, software and plugin collection. We are going to take a closer look at the filter called Atom by a plugin maker called Sign Vibes. We're just gonna click here. And we make it really simple. Reverb is smart enough to know that I'm using an Apple computer, so all I have to do here is click this download button. And if you've ever downloaded software from the internet before, you know it starts downloading. And uh, it is installed here at the bottom of my browser, so I'm just gonna click on this. And here we go. So uh, the lovely folks at Sign Vibes have been nice enough to include a manual with their uh, plugins, which is really awesome, as well as a really simple way to install it. So uh, again, like installing any software on your computer, we're just gonna double click here. You're gonna see the usual installer, we're gonna continue, and the installation was successful, awesome. So we're just gonna close this. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably have Ableton open all of the time and you're installing plugins all the time. Every time you open Ableton, it's gonna rescan your computer for all the plugins that are installed, and then they'll automatically show up in your plugins section, but if you've if you have Ableton open and you just installed a plugin, what you'll need to do is you'll need to rescan. So how do we do that? Well, we are going to go to Preferences up in the top menu bar, and we're going to go to File and Folder, and we're going to click this button here that says Rescan Plugins. Now, while we're here, just a couple things to point out. Uh, you have a little bit of control over your plugin installation uh, within Ableton, so you can decide if you want to use audio units you want to use VSTs, uh, and if you have any reason to have a custom folder location where you have plugins installed other than the default, you can set that here. We're gonna click on Sign Vibes and open it up and see that we have uh, Adam installed there, and from there, again, we can just drag it and drop it. And I'm gonna add it to this Juno pad that we were just listening to, and all I have to do, again, drag it over and drop it down into here, and you can literally see in Ableton, it says drop audio effects here, drop it there, It'll pop up, you'll see the window pop up. First, we're gonna demo it with the, the plugin off, which I do by clicking this little power button here, this little yellow button down here. We're gonna click it, turn it off. All right, pretty cool. And we're gonna turn it back on, and I'm going to just 
to make sure this is really clear, I'm gonna adjust this filter so we can hear that we're now basically adding a low pass filter onto the synth sound. And if I can do this ambidextrously, I will click this and slide this. Okay, so in two minutes, we went from looking at uh, the plugin online to downloading it, installing it, getting it into Ableton, dragging it into our project, dropping it onto our sound, and in two minutes, we've added entirely new capabilities and new sounds uh, to our music. For all things plugins and music software, uh, including content, how-tos, uh, educational materials, artist interviews, as well as, of course, the best plugin collection uh, on the internet, definitely check out Reverb uh, Sync. Thanks so much.